Hello friends, in this video we will see how to create a simple register and login application in MVC3 Razor. We will create a simple project where we will sh show how to create register forms and how to store the registered data in the database and how to log in the application and how, how to validate the user with the database and allow the user to enter into the application. And Let's start with the database. So here we create a new database, we name it as sample app. Okay, in the sample app, we will add a new table. And our first column will be register ID. We will give it int. Now we won't be allowed in this column. And we will say identity column as yes. This will be our identity column and also our primary key second column is our first name and we will use var car max for this not null and we have the last name Then we have email which which would be the username which user we use to log in the application. And we give fifty one fifty four email then we have age. And finally password we'll give 20 as the maximum password and none of the column is nullable and we'll have currently we'll have only these three, these six fields and we give table name as register so our register table is Ready. Now let's create a solution for we create new project. And we say sample login register and we are creating an empty eraser project so our basic empty project is ready now let's create our model first so we will add an EDMX file in serial on that entity data model generate and we are we will generate our entity from database itself as we have created a register table in the database so we will use the same we'll use we'll create a new connection 
I need to pick my server name. I select the database we have created and our database was sample app. I test the connection, test successful and I say OK. And now our entity's name will be sample app entities. Yes, include the sensitive data and I say next. And I uncheck the pluralize or singleize object names and I say that include all the tables so we have currently have only single table and so I say finish so now our EDMX is ready for use now let's have another folder which is our view model folder which we will use to pass it to view so we name it as view model inside this we will add a class and we name it as register view model inside this class I would say we will define our properties which we want to send it to the view so we say public so the first one was first name Here we'll have an extra property which is one extra to the database which is confirm password. We will ask user to confirm its password but this won't be saved to the database. For now we comment this as we will require it while when we apply validation for this model. Now let's create the view. To create first we have to add controller and we say our controller name is register controller and we name our action result method as register and we say add a new view so now we have added a view and we will include our reference of a view model so we say add um, uh, model sample login registry start view model start register view model now we can use the properties defined in this view model and here we create a field set inside we create a legend Naming register form inside this, we will create our 